Eddie and Kenda, you are about to launch out together on Life Sea. Your first ship was friendship. That's how it all started. Kenda, I'd like to talk to you a little bit. Keep that which is committed to thy trust. God is committing something to your trust. Guard this fellowship with faith and prayer so that your heart, the heart of your husband, can safely trust in you. Eddie, when you came to ask me for our blessing in this marriage, I asked you these words, three small words. Are you sure? You said, very sure. I love her very much. You spent more time together and become closer to one another. You talked more. You become comfortable and dependent upon each other. Your feelings developed to the point that you desired to be together more often. A large part of a day was devoted to being in each other's presence. You were close companions. All this sailing about in ships brought you both to stand side by side on today's dock. You stand looking at the grandest of all ships, and that is fellowship. That's what marriage is. Eddie, on May 20th, 2020, you asked Kenda to share your story together forever in the covenant of marriage, to write the rest of your lives together as one story. And she said yes. Where did your confidence and hope come from? Your strength, your courage to ask. Why it come from your family who are anchored in Jesus, four brothers, your mother and your father. Your father's death was a terrible storm for your family. But through it all, you have lived because of anchors. Since your father died, if I figured it right, it has been 1,399 weeks. 9,794 days your family has survived. 235,072 hours. 1,410,320 minutes. I would like to honor your father's memory today. He is missed often and today he would be here had he lived, sitting by your mother, sure, steadfast, and loving. I ask your mother to share with me a memory. She remembers that when they were anticipating your birth, your father had the feeling that you would be born a boy. He told your mother that he was willing to buy another John Deere B tractor for another young son. His desire was to buy all his boys an older John Deere tractor. I think he bought two before he died, if I understood right. Eddie, we would like to bless you with something as a memorial to your father. And so I have in my pocket a John Deere B pocket watch. I want you to put that in your pocket as my memorial to your father. Well, it's time to get sailing. We've been standing here at the dock now for a good little while, and I know you're anxious. Let's get on with it. Do you, Eddie, take Kenda, whose hand you now hold to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Do you, Kenda, take Eddie, whose hand you now hold to be your lawful wedded husband? I sure do. To the glory of God, we present to you Mr. and Mrs. Eddie Fisher.
Today is a wonderful, wonderful day. From this day forward, July 18th, 2020, two separate books of your lives shall merge into one book, one story. No longer will this story be about me, myself, and I, but about us, we, and ours. The book of Eddie and the book of Kenda will now be titled by a new name, The Continuing Story of Eddie and Kenda. May it truly be a wonderful story of love. You are sailors in fellowship headed toward Heaven's Harbor. May your sailing be peaceful and the weather fair. May God speed your ship on its way. <laughs>